गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन माई सेल्फ डॉक्टर मानसी शरान अलॉन्ग विद माई कोथर्स डॉक्टर मनप्रीत कौर बाजवा डॉक्टर मोनू सलीम डॉक्टर कशिश गर्ग फ्राम एच जी टी मेडिकल कॉलेज एच जी टी यूनिवर्सिटी गुरुग्राम इज प्रेजेंटिंग पेपर ऑन सोनोग्राफिक इवेल्युएशन एंड को रिलेशन ऑफ प्रेजेंटल मच्योरिटी ग्रेडिंग एंड थिकनेस विद जेस्टेशनल एज इन प्राइमरी ग्रेविडा सो आई स्टार्ट विद इंट्रोडक्शन प्रेजेंटा इज इम्पॉर्टेंट बिकॉज इट मीरस द फ्यूचर वेल बी इट ऑल्सो गाइड्स द फ्यूचर ऑफ प्रेगनेंसी मैनेजमेंट द प्रेजेंटल एग्जामिनेशन रिवील्स प्रिसाइज लोकेशन ऑफ द प्रेजेंटा वेदर इट इज लोकेटेड ऑन अ स्कार और इज इट कवरिंग द इंटरनल ओस प्रेजेंटल एको पैटर्न टेस्ट द प्रेजेंटल मेच्योरिटी ग्रेड अकॉर्डिंग टू द पेरेंटाइमल कैल्सिफिकेशन कोरियोनिक पेट इंडेंटेशन एंड बीजल पेट कैल्सिफिकेशन so in this study the presental thickness and maturity grading have been correlated to the gestational age in an environment where late pregnancy booking is commonly seen this study will help not only in studying the normal development of placenta with progressive gestational age as well as help in determining the pro- approximate gestational age where lmp is unknown and dating scans are not available so the aim and objective behind this study is to study the features of placental maturity grading and placental thickness on the basis of sonographic images in primary gravida at 20 and 34 weeks of gestational age to study the features of placental thickness on the basis of sonographic images in primary gravida at 20 and 34 weeks of gestational age and to correlate the placental maturity grading and thickness data with the gestational age materials and method methods the study was conducted at fmhs Faculty of Medicine and Health Sciences, SGT Medical College and Research Institute, Gurugram, India. All readings were taken upon subject duly registered with the facility. All the 75 patients underwent a comprehensive sonographic evaluation of the fetus at approximately 20 and 34 weeks of gestational age, as determined by the Hadlock algorithm. The low frequency curvilinear probe of frequency range 3.5 to 7.5 megahertz attached to the G Logic F8 export ultrasound machine installed at the facility. Now I'll start with the placental grading. In grade zero, all placenta start with this configuration only. The chorionic plate appears as smooth, straight, and well-defined, unbroken, dense line. The substance of the placenta is homogeneous and devoid of any cogenic density. The basal layer of the uh, is also devoid of cogenic densities and appear homogeneous and of the same textures as the placental substance. Now in grade one, it manifests as the earliest ultrasound changes of placental maturation. The chorionic plate now will have subtle undulation. The substance of the placenta may contain ecogenic density randomly dispersed in the substance of the placenta. These will be linear in shape and their long axis parallel to the long axis of placenta. That is parallel to the chorionic plate. The basal layer of the placenta, as we can see in this image, is still devoid of ecogenic density. Now in grade two. The maturational changes in the grade two placental scans involves changes in all three zones. The chorionic plate may appear more markedly indented with the linear ecogenic densities, coma-like densities perpendicular to the chorionic plate. The ecogenic densities that were present in the substance of the placenta in the grade one configuration persist, except that they may be more in number, large, and more echodense. The hall- hallmark of the grade two configuration is the presence of basal ecogenic densities. These densities are linear in shape, parallel to the long axis of placenta, and may measure up to the six mm in length. Now, in grade three, this phase represents the mature placenta. The configuration describes the appearance of placenta being divided into compartments, the cotyledons. The chorionic plate is indented, as we can see in this image. At the indentation, which are always not easily seen, the linear densities arise as in grade two, but may now extend all the way to the basal layer without a break. The presence of one coma-like density without a break defines the presence of grade three placenta. The substance of the placenta may now appear to have equal lucent fallout areas, which are situated at the central portion of the cotyledons. These areas represent the central areas of cotyledons, which are devoid of villi, destroyed by the pressure from arterial maternal arterial jet. So, on the basis of our study, the discussion is the growth of the placenta, which was being reported by several authors to be linear and parallel to the fetal gestational age in weeks, is explored by this study. There is a positive correlation between the ultrasonically measured PT in millimeters and fetal gestational age in weeks, similar to the finding of other authors. The observed placental thickness at term, which varies from 29 mm to 45 mm, is similar to 2.65 mm to 4.63 mm, as documented in our study at 34 weeks. 
since there is a no linear decrease in placental thickness beyond 36 weeks our placental thickness values at 34 weeks would be even more confirming to the previous studies these are the references for today's paper discussion thank you